everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I've got an easy crock pot recipe for you. I have a full day of doing videos for you guys, and I am going to make something quick and easy in the crock pot. So, I'm gonna make a cheesy kielbasa potato and cabbage soup in the crock pot. Let's get started. I have my iron skillet heated up. I have it on low right now, so I'm gonna turn it to medium lowish. And I am gonna put in a couple tablespoons of butter. Uh, one medium onion. This is just a yellow onion, brown onion, whatever you like to call them. And then I have one half a head of cabbage. And this is a medium head of cabbage. Chopped, rinsed. I just wanna give these a little bit of head start before I put them in the crock pot. I'm gonna give these a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna use my pepper grinder to put uh, pepper in but I will blink it out for you since the sound annoys people and I don't want it in a container already already cracked um, I prefer to just do it like this I'm just gonna cook those until they soften up okay while that's going I have one sausage this is a uh, kielbasa you can use smoked sausage for this but I am only making a crock a small crock pot soup for two and there'll probably still be leftovers. So I, I'm using one sausage out of that pack. They come with two. Okay, so I'm just gonna chunk them up. I'm gonna put them right into this. Now, this is six cups of water with two um, of the bouillon cubes, and these are the Nor bouillon cubes. They're called it a pollo, so they have the vegetable oil in them. I'm gonna put those right in. My vegetables have cooked down a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Okay, I just want to say iron skillets are really heavy when you're stretching across the counter. I'm going to throw in some parsley, about a teaspoon. I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of paprika. Depending on how strong your crock pot is, I'm gonna cook this on low for four hours and then I'm gonna add potatoes. If your crock pot is really strong, you're gonna wanna cook it on low. If your crock pot is kinda weak, you're gonna wanna cook it on high. So I'll see you in four hours. I am now adding my diced potato into this. And you can do two potatoes. This is actually one really large potato. So we'll go ahead and let this cook. Let this go another um, three hours this way. And then we're gonna go ahead and thicken it up and put in some cream and some cheese. That's it. Okay, I am going to thicken this and I am using heavy cream and ultra gel. And I just made a slurry. You can thicken uh, with whatever you like. If you like to use um, cornstarch, use that. I like ultra gel because it kind of blends 
in a little bit better than cornstarch. And you can put it in anything hot or cold. You can even do it directly. You can also thicken this with sour cream and cornstarch. You can mix those two together and put those in there. The amount depends on how thick do you want it. I still want mine in a soup so it's a little bit thicker. So I used a quarter cup of ultra gel and um, it ended up being like a half a cup of um, heavy cream. And then I have a half a cup of Velveeta. And it is almost done. I'm going to put the cover back on it and cook it for 30 more minutes um, just to make sure that it thickens up really well and that the Velveeta melts. And then we are ready to eat. Here is my soup. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I put it in the bowl, cooled it off, and I was like, oh, I'll turn on the camera. Totally forgot about you after I started eating the soup. So I didn't add any extra flavoring. Um, you know, the cabbage and the kielbasa really flavor the broth. So it is so good. I added nothing extra for flavoring, just an FYI. And I am having this with some homemade crackers. If you're interested in the homemade crackers, I'll link the video in the description box below if you haven't already watched it. It was my November. Anywho, you gotta try this quick, easy soup in your crock pot. All right, that's all there is to it. A super easy recipe and so good. Oh my gosh. I really wanted kielbasa and I just really was in the mood for a good, simple soup. And it is so good. I almost forgot to film the end for you. <laughs> anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.